good afternoon. We'd like to welcome everyone here to St. Maurice Church to celebrate the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The sanctuary light burns this week for Henry Schwering. The Mass intention for Saturday's Mass is for Otto Walke, and Sunday's Mass intention is for Crystal Gray Peets. The Mass intention for Tuesday, August 20th, is for Mary Gillen. Please rise as we sing our opening hymn, 312, Table of Plenty. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty, God will provide for all. Praise the, Praise the Lord. Let's begin this Holy Eucharist with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, it is said the most expensive of food on earth is a type of fish egg which is from the Caspian South Caspian Sea. It costs around $20,000 for a pound. But even if you eat the most expensive of food, you will die. But today in the Gospel, Jesus promises the food that he offers, the true food, if you eat, it will lead us to eternal life. And Jesus says, it is truly his flesh and truly his blood. What is our faith in the saying of Jesus or the promise of Jesus? Do we really believe that the Holy Eucharist that we have is truly the flesh and blood of Christ? What is our faith? We pray for a deeper faith. Lord Jesus, you came to call us sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the bread of life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine. Yes, she has spread her table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, she says, come eat of my food and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness that you may live. Advance in the way of understanding. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard. From all his distress, he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, watch carefully how you live, not as foolish persons, but as wise, making the most of the opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue in ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Lord. And do not get drunk on wine in which lies debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and playing to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks always and for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Be to God. my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him says the Lord the Lord be with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John Jesus said to the crowds, 
I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The, G the Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who yet and still died, Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord has given us numerous gifts to the church. All the sacraments are gifts. Two of the final gifts the Lord has given to the church is the gift of the Holy Eucharist where God comes to us to get inside us, to live inside us, to become totally and completely in our lives into our very selves. And the second gift is the gift of his own mother. In the absence of Jesus, it is his mother who took the initiative to lead the early Christian community, especially as they were preparing themselves to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I used to wonder, and I don't understand why, Many of the other churches or denominations disregard these two priceless gifts. The other churches conveniently accept some of the teachings of Christ. But these two gifts, they disregard or misrepresent or misinterpret. It is the fourth Sunday we have been reflecting on the Eucharist, the bread of life. In the Gospel of John chapter 6, Jesus in a profound manner and repeatedly says, very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood, have eternal life. And I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. This indicates how much importance Jesus himself is giving to the Holy Eucharist. After the resurrection of Jesus, when he appeared to the, appeared to the disciples, it was hard for the apostles to recognize him. But at the breaking of the bread, their eyes were opened and they recognized him as it happened at Emmaus. Why do we come to Mass on a Sunday when there are many other things we could be doing? Perhaps in the past, people went to Mass because it was something everybody did. There was an ele element of cultural 
and family pressure. That is certainly not the case today. You have come to Mass this Sunday because you have chosen to do so. In many ways, it's a counter-cultural choice. It's going against the general trend. Perhaps today's gospel reading points us in the dire direction of the, uh, an answer. There, Jesus calls us on to eat his flesh and drink his blood and promises us that if you do so, we will draw life from him. His language of eating his flesh and drinking his blood is quite startling and provocative. The question people ask in the gospel reading is an understandable one. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus is clearly referring to what we have come to call the Eucharist. His words point ahead to the Last Supper. When he took the bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, This is my body. And when he took a cup of wine, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, This is the blood of the covenant. In speaking of his flesh and blood, his body and blood, he was referring to his whole self, who was and what he stood for, who he was and what he stood for. He gave his whole self to us out of love for us on the cross. At the Last Supper, he gave his whole self to his disciples under the form of bread and wine. In anticipation of the gift of himself, he would be making following day on the cross. At every Mass, the risen Lord continues to give us the gift of his whole self. There is no greater gift he could give us. He gives us this gift of himself to nourish us spiritually, just as a baby is physically nourished in the mother's womb. As the unborn child draws life from the mother, so in the words of Jesus in the Gospel reading, when we receive him in the Eucharist, we draw life from him, just as he draws life from, his, from God his Father. The life that we draw from him is not just physical life, but the life of God, a life that endures beyond this earthly life. Normally, when we eat, we assimilate the food. Our body breaks down the food, takes the nutrients it needs, and feeds our cell, cell system. In a sense, the food becomes part of us. But that is not what happens when we receive the Eucharist. When we receive the Eucharist, the food assimilates us. When we receive the Eucharist, Jesus transforms us. We just heard, just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. So why do you go to Mass on Sunday, uh, uh, on Mass, especially on Sunday? We go because the Lord has left us this wonderful gift through which he continues to give himself to us in love so that we may have life and have it to the full. We go because we recognize that we need this gift to sustain us on our journey of faith, leading us to communion with him, which will lead us to the eternal life. In the words of the Gospel reading, through the Eucharist, he comes to live in us so that we can continue to live in him. The only reason we come to the Eucharist is because we have personally chosen to be 
in relationship with Jesus and we want that relationship to be sustained and nourished. Our mortal and corruptible nature are transformed by being joined to the source of life. In a divine twist, that which was desired by Adam and Eve, the food that would make them like gods, but denied to them as a result of their disobedience and foolishness, is made available through this food, which Christ, the holy wisdom, now command us to partake. The word made flesh, Christ Jesus, calls out to us once again here in this church, take and eat, this is my body. Take and drink, this is my blood. Does, it, does this offend you? Do you also wish to go away? Peter answered him, Lord, to, to whom we can go? You have the words of eternal life. Together let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, to God from to God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified and quenched spirit. He suffered that it was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended in heaven, and seated with the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to the living and the dead and his kingdom will have an end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With the trust and faith in the promise of God, let us now place all our prayers and petitions before the Lord. For the church, Francis our Pope, Charles our Bishop, that they will be blessed with the courage to lead the faithful with wisdom, integrity, and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who enrich our worship and praise through the ministry of music, May your presence and beauty be found in every note and word that they will go on singing and chanting to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Amen. In gratitude for the blessings we have received, may we bless the Lord at all times and may his praise be always on our lips. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For the sick and for those facing or recovering from surgery, that they may experience a full and speedy recovery in God's healing love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear As we celebrate World Humanitarian Day, August 19th, we pray for all those who provide medical care, food and shelter to the tens of millions in our world who are suffering from hunger, homelessness, conflicts, and disasters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear for Otto Walkie, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. We bow our heads and remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful and loving God, we thank you and we praise you for all your grace and place blessings. Jesus, we thank you for giving us your body and blood, the priceless gift. May we always nourish ourselves 
from the Eucharistic table. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The children may bring up their offering. Tori's song is I Am the Bread of Life, hymn 342. spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Spirit. Lord, wash with my naked and cleanse me from my sins. Pray my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, 
we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you, and in joyful celebration, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives him praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, he gave life to all things and made them holy. And he never ceased to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts be our body of consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the blessing of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us yourself. Grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed, blessed Joseph of Spouse, with the blessed Apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Maurice and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of reconciliation be, pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis of Pope Charles of Bishop, the order of bishops all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to a departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you and they are passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us passes, as we forgive those that have passed against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, dear apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. We look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and not worry, but at least say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Our communion song is Taste and See, hymn 348.
The announcements for the weekend, we have a note from Miss Patty, Patty Simon. The elementary religion classes will start Wednesday, September 11, 2024. They will be from 6.45 to 8 p.m. Your children are already on the list if they have been attending. If your children are already on the list, um, they have been attending. New students to the parish will have to register as soon as possible. Also, if your child is four years old now and will be in kindergarten in the fall of 2025, they are invited to join our preschool group. This is taught by Donna Harlemer. Please call Patty Simon at 812-689-4100 to register for this early learning and fun experience with Jesus. We hope you will continue to pray for our children and young people. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, that confirmed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Our closing hymn is Canticle of the Sun, 433. Play in the field 